Shalom, wonders of souls by giving all praise to Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, by Shem Kodesh, the blonders, the apostles of great millstone and honors, you brothers doing work, the most untruth truth and the insincerity. Yahweh's real name of whom the world ignorant calls God, Jehovah, Yahweh, his real name is Yahweh, the son's true name is Yahweh Shine, and when we pray, pray Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba meaning in, Ha meaning there, and Sha meaning names, Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai. This one's a uh, payback, right? Um... You know, the first person that's going to get their payback is Yahweh Shai, right? All the things that he suffered when, you know, when he was on the scene and he came, you know, as a man last time around, right? You know, he's still, you know, he's still angry about that, man, right? Because in the heavens, it's only been two days. You read that in Second Peter 3, where it speaks about how, you know, one day is uh, one day to the most high. Right is 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 as a thousand years to man. So really, it's only been uh, two days since Yahweh Sha was on the scene, right? Since he went through what he went through. Right? This is Isaiah forty-seven uh, from three. And I'm going to start with Yahweh Sha first, but then also you know the suffering that Israel uh, went through, um, uh, you know, by the hands of the nations, right? And the fact that the nations are going to be paid back, right? Because the Lord is 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 a just power, right? He's all about balance okay uh, so as i'm going to start Isaiah 47 and 3 in regards to how shall i get in his payback right it says thy nakedness shall be uncovered yea thy shame shall be seen now this first bit is referring to these devils right their nakedness is being uncovered right you know people are you know a shameful spewing is happening on these devils right regardless of the topic it always seems like something always comes back to uh, you know the, the 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 nastiness of their history, whether it be slavery, right? Whether it be what it did to the Native Americans, when the Seminole Indians, so called, right? Or, or 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 their hand in the empires that they've built all across the world, their hands in wars, right? Regardless of what the topic is, that always seems to come up. Continuing on, this is I'll take vengeance and I'll not meet thee as a man. Right, because the last time went once again, the last time Yahusha was here, he came as a man. Right, and this time he's gonna come as 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 a force to be reckoned with. All right, you read in that as uh, Second Ezra the thirteenth chapter it speaks about how Yahusha is gonna come back, you know, in a massive chariot. All right, he's gonna come back in a massive chariot, and he's going he's gonna get busy. He's gonna get busy, and he's gonna be um. Uh, uh, you know, then eventually when these these nations try to fight Yahweh Shai, right? Because the Lord's going to put the spirit on them to to do to do so stupidly. What's going to happen? Yahweh Shai is just going to by by way of his chat just zap him, right? And that's it. Then also you got what I'm what uh, I'm can think not I'm come to send. I uh, not that not that one. Um, what will life already if already be kindled? Yeah, you know, I've come to send fire on earth, and what will life already be kindled? Right, Luke, right, Isaiah 66, right? Um, you know, you, the Lord cometh um, you know, with with fire like a whirlwind, right, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So Yahweh Shah is coming as a force to be reckoned with, right, this time around, right? Now it's Revelation 1 and 7. So behold, he cometh with clouds, right? Same event. Right, Yahweh Shah is coming, coming with, with the hosts of heaven, with the thousands of heaven, right, with the angels. It says, and every eye shall see him, right. It says, and they also which pierced him, so it's going into reincarnation, right. This, this, this one chapter touches on a whole load of different things, touching on the chariots, right, it touches on reincarnation, right. It touches on the true nature of Yahweh Shai, right. It says, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so a man. Right? So Yahweh Shai, right, he's been thinking about those those the, you know, those two devils that pierced him, right, you know, for, for this time. Right. And he's coming to get his and, and exact his revenge. Okay. He's come to get that payback. And also when he's here, you, all of those people that, you know, have come against his men, right? What does it say? Uh it says, um, if anyone offended any of these, my little ones, right, be better than a millstone be hanged from his neck. So all the people that have come against, you know, the men of the Lord, sound of the apostles, starting off of the apostles on down, right, those people that have come up against us, right, guess what? The Lord is going to judge them, 
my yeah, oh, sure, go and get busy on it. All right, if, if that is, that's if they haven't been taken in any of the plagues previous, right? So, uh, yeah, and it goes on to say, um, yes, and all countries of the earth shall war because of him. Yeah, because yeah, when Yahusha comes, man, there ain't gonna be no, uh, you know, oh happy days, right? You read Amos the fifth chapter, where it says, "Warn to you that the desire the, the day of the Lord." Shall that they be darkness and not light? Matthew 24 and 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the trials of the earth mourn. Once again, what's, what's, what's with the mourning? I thought it's supposed to be, you know, like a, you know, a, a big joyous day. In fact, as I quoted, and it's on, it's on, it's on the morning. I'm just going to grab it real quick. Where it says Amos 5 uh, and 18, right? It says, woe unto you. That desire the day of Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh's darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand upon the wall and the serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord uh, uh, be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? So you got all those people desiring for the day of the Lord, not realizing that it's to their destruction, right? You know, these people in these churches and whatever, what have you, right? I love the Lord, I love the Lord, but they don't know anything about the Lord. All right, so let's read that again, Matthew 24 and 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, right? and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven, and with the power, uh, and with, uh, with this lucky Son of Man coming in, in the clouds of, of heaven, with power and great glory. All right, I see if there's anything else in there. That's pretty much the same, uh, same thing there, right? It's just talking about the chariots, right? But then also, right, you've got the, the the payback that the Lord is gonna, you know, exact upon these nations, right? These nations that have touched the apple of His eye, right? These are these nations that basically did too much. Right, because yes, Israel was given into the hands of these devils. Yes, that did happen. Right, but guess what? Right, these devils went too far. Right, these nations went too far. Right, now it's time for them to start getting, uh, you know, to, to to basically start getting their payback. Right, revenge. Right, Scripture says Second Thessalonians one and six. Surely it's a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Right. Revenge, right? revenge is scriptural, it's biblical, right? It says, Ezekiel 25 from 12 says, Thus saith the Lord power, because that Eden hath dealt against the house of Jacob, this is like the house of Judah, by taking vengeance and hath greatly offended, greatly offended, and revenged himself upon him. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Eden and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom, right? My vengeance upon Edom, right? By the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do an Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord power. All right, so the Lord's going to put this spirit, right, on, on, on his men to basically, uh, you know, when the time is right. Right, when the Lord, you know, gives that 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 okay for us to do so, right, spiritually, right, that's what's gonna happen. Right, because if we go on well, when the kingdom is, is established, man, we're gonna have these uh these 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 devils you know under our thumb. Okay. That power that they you know the Lord hath has given them in this side is gonna be taken away. Right, in these in the kingdom, man, they go home, they go and return back to that low of lower of the low state. Scriptures refer to them as the basest of men. When they go and return to that. This is Obadiah 1 and 10. It says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Right? So this is what you have done, Esau. Now you also read Ezekiel 35 and 8, it says that 35 and 5, it says, You have had a perpetual hatred. Right, and since thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and and that's basically not um, a, a hated blood, that blood shall pursue you. Right, once again, that vengeance. Right, that's what's that's what's coming upon you, devils, for all of the things that you have done. 
right? See, the Lord has given Esau a, a, a track record. Esau may try to be like, oh, I've not done anything. Now, you, you've done the most, Esau. Right? And, and that's why you go and receive the most. Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Right? So that's what we're waiting for. Right? Because once again, the Lord gave the nation of Israel into these heathens' hands. I read about that in the curses written of in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter. We was given into these heathens' hands. But guess what? We're still the Lord's. Right? And the Lord uh, you know, is going to judge these nations for doing such. Right? Just like how, really, you know, if, if, if a man goes off, uh, it's the most hard that made that man go off, but guess what? The Lord is still gonna, the most are still gonna judge that man for going off, despite the fact that it was the most hard that made him go off. The same thing with you, E, right? The most is the one that made you, you know, put Israel in captivity, gave you the power to put Israel in captivity. Because in the kingdom, man, you, 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 you oh man, the power Israel's gonna have in the kingdom, you couldn't even imagine it, Esau. Okay, so the Lord gave Esau the power to take Israel down, but he's going to judge Esau for doing so. Damn, <laughs> Isaiah 14 and 2, so I've got the last one in close, so right? it says, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids, right? and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule. Over their oppressors. And that's it. Right. So we're going to take. The. Uh, different. All of these different nations. That have had us in captivity. Which is all of them. Right. They're going to become our captives. Right. They're going to become our servants. You read Isaiah. The 60th chapter speaks about. How. You know. These servants. And, and, and it highlights the. Uh, the, the you know. The, 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 the kings of these servants. Right, are basically going to be serving us. And if the kings, then you know so much more. So the, you know the 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 um the regular citizens of those of those he different heathen nations, right? And law is going to give us authority to be able to rule over those that were once oppressing us, right? Which is why it actually says at the top, right in, in verse one Isaiah fourteen one it says, uh, "For the Lord Jehovah will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel." Right, for all of the things that Israel has suffered, the Lord will still have mercy, right? And has still, you know, we still remain His chosen. And I'll just finish it off, says, and set them in their own land. So the Lord is the one that's going to take us back into our land, right? This is under strangers, right? Israelite foreigners shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So as always, Lord's will does the edifying. Till next time, we say, Shalom.